Hey guys, happy Wednesday. Today we're going to be drawing one of my favorite kinds of fish. If you haven't noticed yet, I really like fish, pet fish, not fish for food. But we're going to draw one of my favorite kinds of fish, an angelfish. Angelfish are just such cool, such pretty, interesting fish. In my fish tank that I have at home, I actually have four of them. One of them is super mean, and then the other ones are a little bit nicer. Angelfish are very independent fish, so they don't usually get along super well with each other, but they can like stay in the same tank together. Usually one gets really big, and that one is the boss, and it's mean to all the other ones, which is the case with my mean one. So even though they're called angelfish, they're not really angels. They don't act that way. But they are still really pretty, so I thought we would draw one today. I would say start with a pencil on this one. It's not too tricky, but there's a lot of lines that you want to be kind of smooth, and sometimes those are hard to do in just one try. So get a pencil and an eraser, get your coloring stuff, and let's get started. The first thing that we are going to draw with our angelfish is this curve for the top of the body. We need to leave a little space on the left for the mouth, and of course we need to leave a bigger space on the right for the tail. And we need space above and below. So we're going to do this a little bit off from the center, a little bit to the left, and we're also going to make sure we don't do it too close to the top. I'm going to start right here, and I am going to go up and curve a nice, curve line kind of like brownie mouth and I will stop right there. Then from right here you're going to do a little line that kind of bumps out that way and then an arrow shape in here and then underneath this line is going to kind of curve and we'll stop here for a moment. Now what we're going to draw is this part of the big fin on the bottom. Not these, but this big one. So we're going to go a little ways over, and it curves like that. And then we want to make this a point, so we're going to start another line right next to this one. And as we go and we kind of follow along with the line we just made, we're going to let it get a little bit bigger as we get closer. Alright, now we're going to draw a line that's kind of a little bit curved, but kind of diagonal too, for the bottom of the body. Maybe curve it a little bit right there. Now we got the body kind of drawn, but we got to do the fins and stuff like that. So I'm going to let this line curve out and up a little bit, and this one too, except this one's going down. And then we're going to make a curved line to connect these two together. Now we're going to add the tail. So the tail is kind of like an extension from the body, and I'm just going to continue the line that I started here. I'm going to let it kind of go up and then straight, and on the bottom I'm going to try to copy the same thing, but it's okay if it's not perfectly even. And then here you can have it curve in and then out and then down and then in. It could just kind of be one straight curve from one side to the next. On this one here, I curved in and then had a little bump in the middle and then back out. It's totally up to you. Let's add this fin on top real quick. So starting near the top of the body, I like to do a few little jagged lines and then straight at an angle like that and then point at the top and then let it get a little bit bigger back where it touches the body. Starting up here, I can draw a line that goes down and then curves out and then connects back to the body. We're gonna draw this fin down here. This one, I like to start at the end of this fin and it curves in a little and then out and then back in. You might notice that there's a lot of symmetry going on, like these two fins kind of end at the same place, and these two fins kind of start at the same place. And the tail usually looks the same on top and bottom. Now let's do these little tendril things. So I'm going to do one line that kind of curves out and then back, and then 
one here that's connected that curves out and then in and then back. I'm going to draw another line on the other side of this one and then when I get close to the end I want them to touch and make a point. And then over here I'm going to do the same thing but this little tendril thingy is behind the one we just did so it just kind of stays underneath and behind. Alright, now we got most of our body done, but we're going to start adding in details like you could do stripes or spots. Before that though, let's do this little fin. Kind of right in the middle, do a little curved line like that. And then on top, a long line, it could be straight or a little curved, and on the bottom a little bit shorter. And then I like to just have kind of a curve that connects the two together. Let's do right here, so a little bit to the right of the top of the mouth. We're going to draw a circle. And fish have kind of weird eyes. In real life, they are really just like a circle with another circle inside. I guess on this one, I'll do more cartoony. So I'll do a little circle and then another little circle. We'll fill it in with flap. Sometimes I want to make them look like real life and sometimes it's fun to make them look more cartoony. Now we're going to add these little rays. They're called rays inside the fins, these little lines that you see. And I like to do these kind of quick. I don't press too hard and I lift off my paper quickly. And I usually make these curved if the fin is curved or straight if the fin is more straight. On the tail, I'm going to make these kind of curve with the shape of the tail. When I get in the middle, they're going to go more straight, and then when I get closer to the top and bottom, I let it curve with the tail. And we'll do a few quick little lines inside that pin. Now if you want to do stripes like this one, you know, you can do the straight lines. But I think on my, my new example, I'll change this one a little bit and I'll make it spotty like some of the angelfish that I have in my tank. Oh, I forgot one thing. This little part here is kind of like a gill. So starting, well, it could either be, it doesn't really matter where it is if it's touching this or not, but mine's going to be touching where these little tendrils are. I'm going to make a curved line like that that kind of goes towards the eye but does not touch. Now we can add our details and our designs. If you want to do stripes, go ahead. I'm going to do some spots, so I do some wiggly lines in different areas. And one extra detail you can add is you could add some little bubbles or circles coming up from the mouth. I love adding those. I just think they're cute. And now, of course, you're ready to color it in. So you can color this in any way that you want to color it. It could be like real life. In real life, they're usually black, white, orange, yellow, um, browns, silvers, and grays. But you could really make it whatever colors you want. Why not? Have fun with it. And uh, just take your time coloring it in, you guys. All right, guys. I hope you had fun drawing your angelfish and making it whatever colors and patterns you wanted to make it. And I will see you guys tomorrow for our next video. Bye.